So we're going to look at, on the new Gen 3 Starlink system, can we use a CAT cable? In this case, we're using CAT 7, rated for direct burial. So when we look at the factory cable, we can see that the connector has a little bit different clip on it for locking it. And in actuality, it doesn't lock at all. It just stays in there with friction provided by pressure from the clip and by the moisture seals of the ribbed gasketing that engages the back of the router or the antenna. So in this case, we're using a decent quality cat 7 cable which is a 26 gauge and it's rated for direct burial and the clip is left intact but we did have to trim back the molded portion of the part of the plug so that it can slide down into the back of the router or into the panel antenna and we have been running this for multiple hours with the heater on high with no thermal load on the cable or the connector port checked with the thermal camera and you can see we've done the same thing on the other side I'm going to pull this out and it will, with a little tug, it does give you a little pop. So I'm guessing the clip is engaging just a little bit, but it does pop right out. There again, this is a CAT 7 26 gauge wire and it's rated for outdoor and direct burial. And same thing, putting it back in. And you do have to trim the molded plastic on the back end of the plug to allow it to slide into the router and the dish. This is a 100 foot cable and we've tried a 130 foot cable and both seem to be working fine. No losses in uh, speed and no overheating of the cable or the connectors with the Snow melt turned on uh, full all the time and ran it for about an hour and we'll show you the, some uh, thermal pictures of that. And you can see on the thermal image the big heat signature at the top which it is in heating mode and that's where the biggest part of the electronic components are but the cable and where the cable plugs in is not white. And I'm going to make a recommendation, we haven't tried it yet, but we will, that you probably would take and drill your bracket, maybe down here on the side. I don't think I'd do it here. This is going to weaken this clip if you drill it. Plus, you don't want to be under that if you're using the pipe mount. You don't want to go under that loop on the pipe mount because if the cable gets pulled this way, it could cause that bracket to release so a hole drilled this way and then this way will allow you to get a wire tie and you can bring that wire over and something like that and wire tie it which would help take any of that stress off of that connector and then obviously if you're mounting it on a pipe or anywhere permanently you want to put strain relief on it so it doesn't get pulled either by the weight hanging down or somebody bumping or pulling it.